Hey, it's Chris here in Oklahoma. Scored some swag over at Napa today. Before I get started on what I did today, I thought I'd show you this swag. It's a little coin holder, a towel, and a hat. I'm going to show you this mess I made today. So the good news, I am now on 24 volts. Woohoo! Big time job getting these batteries switched over but I did it the right way nice and slow took my time use the voltmeter I got a headlamp on so we can see in there a little bit look at that when I had all these batteries disconnected and off to the side I checked everything I checked the acid level and all the voltages were you know I let them rest for about an hour all the voltages were the same I was like, oh, hell yeah. I was just going to do four batteries. I said, oh, hell, I got six. Let's do, let's do the, the full, full whammy here. Cleaned up all the cables, used uh, my uh, wire brush to clean everything up. Connections all solid, all nice and snug. I had to go down the Napa and get another black six-gauge charger cable, you know, to hook up to the, the back bank there. So essentially you got 24, 24, and 24, and I got negative down there, and then positive down there for the charger. So it feeds all six batteries. Sexy stuff. Cut a notch in that shelf there so I could, so I could get to those terminals down there. Used heat shrink, all that good stuff. I still have to hook up the Whizbang Junior, but <clears throat> I'm getting everything prepped for the Outback Power 24 volt inverter which I'm going to install on Wednesday uh, and the mate 3 which is going to go up there somewhere but I needed more room so what I did is I moved the classic over oh shoot probably about five inches you can see where it was here move this over about five inches or so and put it up here I like it way up here nice I, I mean it's it's it, it's at eye it's at eye level right here and tightened up with a a uh, big baby box there is and I, and I left everything open here so I could show you what I did here with the with the, with the, the feeder lines coming in from the solar it uh, I got some quick disconnects here and also tapped off the wires here and quick disconnects here which goes into the meter here which is solar and I just did that because I like uh, I like seeing bright lights and stuff and the battery is disconnected right now, uh, but I but I made a longer connection. I got quick disconnects inside there, but I, but I I will hook this up. I don't know, maybe see how I feel here. Getting kind of tired, but I'm kind of glad I went with the 24 volt system because that 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 big AGL fuse right here is rated um, up to 32 volts, and I think this is. Yeah, this says max 48 volts DC. I, I, I guess I was wrong, but this, this thing can handle, this Blue Sea Systems, this thing can handle up to 48 volts. Um, but I'm kind of I'm kind of glad I didn't have to mess with any of this charger side. And this this is going to go up to the up to the Outback Power, but I don't think it's going to be long enough to reach. So I may have to get get some uh, new cable. That's no big deal because now now everything's done and I'll just connect everything up and so the positive is here and then the negative will be back there on that bank on that terminal block back there in the negative and I'll run that over here and up so man tickled pink made a huge freaking mess in here but it turned out wonderful now I can now you can see my awesome freaking Walmart deep cycle batteries that I got <laughs> that are now 24 volt but you know 24 volts you know it says 684 amps that's at 12 volts so basically you knock that in half for 24 you still have the wattage it's the same amount of amp hours this is the higher voltage but it's no big deal but I tell you these batteries looked in great shape and the manufacturer date is March. I got two in February and then four in March. 
but everything everything looked perfect on the on these batteries I actually shook them up a little bit you know to get some you know anything that was hanging out in there but yeah the bolts were great everything everything is just great but I wanted to do a video showing everyone the mess I made and while I have all the guts exposed here um, you know you can see what I'm doing here now what I'm going to do for AC AC in uh, since this is a, uh, a GFI 20 amp right here I don't know if you can see that I'm going to try to get some light on there but that's a 20 amp receptacle so I'm going to put a get a bit of heavy duty uh, cable you know outlet and then run that over to the outback power and then this will be for AC out and I'll hook this up you know this is temporary until I get it hooked up to a sub panel but that's going to feed AC out which is going to feed that and I've got the other power strip connected in there up there so I'm going to have AC power uh, that way now eventually I'm going to hook into the mains I'm going to run a breaker panel right up there it's going to go up and over to the mains over here and what I'll do is I'll start taking legs legs off this circuit circuit uh, breaker the you know the main service panel here and put like a little sub panel over here so that's the uh, that's the goal you gotta look at this freaking mess I made I gotta clean this stuff up I can't stand cluttered crap like this <laughs> but cloudy ass day I just got done it's like 530 ish oh yeah I wanted to show show you on the inverter here or on the solar charge controller look at there 25.1 whoo making 1.3 amps 32 watts now, I haven't got the whiz bang hooked up and all that stuff but uh, damn damn if it's not working good pretty tickled sorry about this uh, lengthy video but uh, I want to make sure this is detailed enough to show everyone that you know I can still turn a wrench at 46 years old retired Air Force radar mechanic that, that I am <laughs> and I still get tickled working electronics and in doing this stuff oh yeah and I got some more uh, 10 knot grounding cable about 20 feet of it because you know, I'm probably gonna need to fix that green wire there and get it all fixed up real good mm -hmm. that's right that's right Hoorah! Hoorah! hey shout out to Kenny uh, y'all take care and thanks for watching and sorry about this long video but I want to make sure I got everything that I wanted to say in here you have a great night talk to you later bye